Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child, I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. In limbo? What is this place? Hunter, what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the staff of one. Of course. And why did she not come herself? She thought it would make things worse. Well, that makes two of us. Wait, if you found your way to this place, what did you hear? I think I know why you hate your birthday. My deepest shame. You are the first beyond myself to know this. The first person, at least. The creature you heard brought me here. But my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. You cannot blame yourself. If not me, then who? I was a fool. You were a child. I was a foolish child. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. Who you were does not matter. It is who you become that counts. I would dismiss such words from anyone else. But you, of all people, would know this to be true. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. There is still a party going on. We can always go back. You ask me to do a hard thing, but it is the right thing. That is your point, yes? I could not face them alone. With you there, I will find the strength. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. Wow. 
Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. Are you ready to go? No. But I will manage. I will open a portal. Let us return. Before I change my mind. After you. No, you first. I don't want you going through my stuff. This birthday was no good, but you kept it from being awful. Are you ready to go? I suppose. If they're you. Magic, I- Please, let me say something. All of you came here to celebrate, but I have little to celebrate on this day. Every year it brings painful memories. But I should not have reacted as I did. Please forgive me. Hey, it's not a birthday party until someone destroys the cake. Usually that's Tony. Oh, come on, Carol. It was one stray repulsor beam. I didn't ruin the party? Of course not. I'm... We're, we're all just glad you're back. Yeah. You still have presents to open. You're quiet. That's it. I'm calling it. Most ironic statement of the year goes... Surprised to see her back so soon. Are you enjoying the party? Do I look like I enjoy parties? I do not know if you enjoy anything. <laughs> the punch is good. I've gone through a bowl and a half. Hey, what you did here? You showed the Midnight Suns where you stand. We won't forget it. Oh, and the cake! Nico and Doctor Strange cast a spell on the remains. They resurrected. Just like the hunter. There is still cake? I'm surprised she came back with you. If you want something done right, you send the best. That's why I'm surprised she came back with you. That hurts, Robbie. I'm known for my sick burns. Anyway, Magic came back, which means she trusts you. And that's no small thing. As parties go, this one is unforgettable. Does that mean you are enjoying yourself? I'm Tony Stark. When am I not enjoying myself? I think I'll get some more punch. Carol, is that... Are you tearing up? You did good, kiddo. The Midnight Suns stand or fall together. All I did was remind her of that. In all these years, you never lost the impulse to find another way. A better way? That remains to be seen. Enjoy the party. Oh, one more thing. Did you happen to save a second slice of cake for me? I'm sorry, kiddo. There wasn't enough to go around. Oh, don't worry. I'll make another one soon. Just for you. Really? But my birthday is months away. Yes, but we have a few hundred of those to make up. It's a good enough excuse for me. All of this is so strange, so different.
Are you having a good time? Yes, but tell no one. Can I quote you on Superlink? You are worse than Robbie, you know that? Did you get enough to eat? The caretaker saved me a piece of the resurrected cake. Well, what did you think of the cake? Cake is good. Slight hint of ozone, but that was my fault. Talk to you later, Magic. Thank you, Hunter. Truly. This is the first good birthday I've had in a really long time. Oh, so you, you gonna open your presents? Give her some space, Robbie. Uh, sorry, Ilya. See, it's still a party. We're kicking it. Or feeling it. Actually, I don't know what we're doing. I haven't been to many parties. We are partying, right? In retrospect, that should have been my first choice. Woo! Let's party! It looks like Magic is feeling better. She is better, right? She is doing all right. Was there anything she wanted? She just wants to enjoy the party. Then I won't stand in her way. So, party's still going. Are you sticking around? I am still ready to party. Good. Let me know before you take off, okay? Back from your otherworldly jaunt and no worse for wear? Avoided the soul moths, did you? Seems that way. Are you enjoying the party? Your query is hopelessly flawed. The Sorcerer Supreme does not experience time in such a linear manner. You should not ask whether I enjoy this specific party. The true question is, how many parties do I enjoy at this very moment? Can you give me a hint? The answer here is plain to see. The bounds are one and infinity. If you are experiencing them all in this moment, you are at a single enormous party across time and space. Very clever. That's one of two acceptable answers. Uh, truthfully, it's somewhat disorienting. I should retire for the evening. Magic seems in better spirits. How did you get her back here? I told her Strange would let her read his favorite grimoire. You didn't. And that she could joyride in the Iron Man suit. Hunter! And that she could repaint your shield to look like a Russian flag. <laughs> you had me going there. Right, right. So where is the shield? <laughs> Away from either of you. Oh, and one more thing. You went above and beyond. Enjoy the party, Hunter. So, what's Limbo like when you're off the beaten path? Stranger than I expected? That's what I figured. Give me alien worlds over magical hellscapes any day of the week. I'm impressed, Hunter. I didn't think magic wanted to come back. Hey, um... Did she say anything about how I was dressed? It did not come up. <sighs> Doesn't mean she's not secretly harboring resentment. <sighs> I've never been good at navigating human social dynamics. Doctor, you should have more pride in yourself. 
Why do you care about Magic's opinion? I know that she also had a terrible childhood, but she emerged from that ordeal with grace and strength. I suppose I admire her for that. I was hoping she would like me back. Magic does not readily show affection, but I am sure she is grateful for your support on the battlefield, as are we all. Good enough for now. I can play the long game here. Wow, that was fast. Did you bring me something back? Yes, I returned with magic. Eh, I'll take it. Have you at least been enjoying yourself? Deadpool's always the life of the party. Who needs a clown when you've got me? Are you speaking of the giant red noses? Weirdest gig I ever did was being the clown for a kid's birthday party. My balloon animals were a hit. Let me guess, you only made snakes. And I gave them tiny balloon guns. Quite creative. All right, time to hit the sack, but I'll go do that in private. You calling it a night? <sighs> it is time for bed. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Miko. Ugh, reptilian blood tastes terrible. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Hunter, hello. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? What we all want. To be found. What if that is not the real Wanda? What if my mother is using her image to manipulate us? What does your gut tell you, Hunter? Does it tell you she was real? Yes, it does. Then listen to that. I know you didn't know Wanda, but I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. What are you doing here, Hunter? 
You need to find the Midnight Suns and save Wanda. And you need to do it now. So, word on the street is that the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like partners on the force in one of those buddy cop movies. Throw back? Ah, oh, yes, like a toast? Agatha was quite fond of them. Rad idea. Know any good ones? Well, my Asgardian is quite rusty, but I suppose I could try. Of course, I would need some sort of goblet to throw into the mirror, and a nice sharp axe for the bl- How about I go first just to set a nice safe benchmark? So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rockenberry, Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is gonna meet him there. Thanks, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. It is a spell of sorts. That is what Agatha used to say, anyway. What sort? The dark sort? A discernment spell. Well, more of a tracking ritual, like a seance. And no, it's not dark. I got it right from the source. I'll put it back before caretaker even knows it's missing. Hey man, we gotta try something. I mean, it has to be a sign, right? That all four of us had the same dream of Wanda? Make that five. You and Ouija away, or whatever. Lock the door. Remember, once we start, we don't stop. Keep your mind focused on Wanda. Ego, 
Spiritus, add. Got it. What did I just say? Do not break the connection. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. This is how Atlantis sank. Ego, Spiritus, add. May. Ego spiritus ad me. 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 Whoa. Anyone else see that? She said not to break the connection. Well, you just did? those two to chant their own names i am going to open a rift to the negative zone in their showers when we get home if we get home there's no telling where that screwed up spell sent us this could be a broom closet in the basement of dr doom's castle for all we know or a storage nook on galactus's world ship holding pen on a scroll cruiser oh maybe the inside of robbie's brain there something powerful something strong something that's where we begin. Ugh. Of course you were gonna say that. soldiers so the question remains how are you here just a little of the old abracadabra no big deal for a squad of ultra powerful and well-known <laughs> heroes like us i am impressed
Hold a grudge. Something is wrong. Of all the possible intruders, this is the last group I would expect. I suppose there was a high probability that the hunter would be drawn to this location. But you two? What were your names again? Nancy and Margaret. Okay, now you <laughs> sacrifice yourself blindly for Lilith. You are more foolish than you look. Hydro recruiter didn't mention any of this, huh? Be careful where you wave your staff or swords or whatever other enchanted LARPing weapons you brought into my facility. The modifications I've made to the Gamma Accelerator have rendered it quite volatile. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. The mind probe is far less reliable when the brain is damaged. Tony Stark was right. You are moody. Much has changed among the world's fanatics. I've seen. Huh, it's hard to tell. Are we underground? You mean, you don't know. Just tearing your way 
through whatever Hydra facility you miraculously stumble upon? More like smashing through. Wrecked. You were too weak for this fight. Remember me now, Brucey? I'm starting to, little punk. Which actually explains a great deal about how this visit came about. Far too amateurish an operation for Carol, or even Tony. It's not the how I should be focusing on, but the why. You're not here for the Gamma Accelerator at all, are you? No. The truth is far more delightful. Of course it is. Well, by all means, then. Have at it. <laughs> What is that? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Thanos himself walked out of that thing. Wanda! No. Oh, Wanda. We were too late. She belongs to Lilith now. Death is her only chance for release. What? Hell no! No, that's not how we work. Haven't you learned anything yet? Leave her alone, you monster! Oh, I assure you, Miss Maximoff is free to do as she pleases. She appears neither free nor pleased to me. Really? Wanda, is there something you'd like to say to your friends? understand her purpose. It's all starting to make sense. Tony must have known that I would need her energies to help stabilize the reaction. Perhaps he thought her connection to the two of you would somehow prevent the inevitable slaughter about to occur. Or perhaps you're simply his canaries in the coal mine. In either case, I may have underestimated him. Uh, you sure you're all right there, Brucey? Sounding a little unhinged. He's starting to rant like Faustus. This will have to do. It is a good day. One for you. The looks on your faces. Genuine astonishment. Just like before with Tony and Steve at the tower. I wonder. 
Have we heroes always been so trusting, so gullible? There is no we anymore, Trey. You forfeited that by you became another of my mother's puppets. Yet here you all are, trying to save one. I suppose I should add illogical to the list. for Hydra. Mother is the only friend I need. Reinforcements on approach! letting Banner get to us. Remember why we're here. Wanda, snap out of it. We don't want to hurt you. You cannot hurt me. The mother will never let anyone hurt me ever again. More of Lilith's lies. I have heard such words repeated. You are lucky to still be breathing. abandons you. Don't hesitate, friends. I won't. Another batch of idiots coming in. This feeling. You should have listened to her. Do not fear the mother's embrace. Let her warmth envelop you. There is nothing left in her eyes. Nothing of Wanda. Such peace. Such a harmony of energies flowing through one core. She really is something, isn't she? I always believed the Scarlet Witch was powerful, but through Lilith, Wanda Maximoff has become transcendent. I might have to try that myself. Possibly match your strength. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared.
future is already hers. Oh good, more goons. That was your one chance. Hardly a scratch. I am the instrument of her wrath. We have to stop this. We can't just kill each other down here. Oh, I think that's exactly what you're going to have to do. No one's talking to you, Demo Nerd. <laughs> now you're starting to sound like Crossbow. Was that truly your best? your concern. You shouldn't have come here. I'm built on this building. Did you... Coming here with... This situation is grave. one's for you. They've taken me down. Now it's
next time, it will be forever. This is the only way. You see. You brought this on yourself. This is bad. you do that to a friend? This should be good. Protect me. Try this. Does that mean I'm the new boss? Well, this encounter has certainly smashed my expectations. <laughs> Come now, Bruce. Can't let yourself get too carried away. We were planning on taking them alive. Then again, Wanda, eliminate them. This is over. We must leave now. Wanda, stop. It's me. It is not her, Nico. She cannot hear you anymore. Did I see her almost destroy all three of us? Then yes. She hesitated, and then blew up the ground where you were standing. Still, one is in there. Somewhere. I know it. No! She is here! Impossible! Close it! No! Agatha. Don't say a word, Nico. What would be the point? Caretaker... Nico, I... Don't bother. Kind of just want to be left alone. We have a lot to think about. 
How we got here. How we failed. Yeah, you think? We can talk tomorrow, when you are feeling better. Yeah, right. Might be a while. I will be here. But Wanda won't. Rules are like hearts. Ileana, are you okay? My best friend just tried to murder me. What do you think? Maybe we should consider Wanda is... ...too dangerous to save. How dare you? I am sorry, I just... Leave. Before I say something I will regret. I have too many regrets this evening already. Good night, then. Good? There is nothing good about this night, Hunter. Nothing good at all. Hunter, if you're looking for caretaker, she went to her room. Yeah, and she uh, made it very clear she doesn't want to be disturbed. Your mom must be desperate for friends if she keeps stealing all of ours. It seems there's a competition going on to see who can reprimand the young sons the harshest. Are you participating? I'm really glad everyone made it back safe and sound, which is impressive on its own. Trying an incantation like that at their level. One might think they would ask for a Sorcerer Supreme's guiding hand. What do you expect of them? Every time they have tried to help, they have been rejected. You're right, Hunter. Perhaps the Suns needed this act of valiant sorcery to show us that they are more capable than we thought. It's just that Wanda was my apprentice. I care about her well-being as much as anyone here. I've been hearing her voice, but each time it grows fainter. By the great Agamotto, we'll bring her back to us. And here I thought we were finally starting to trust each other. They went behind our backs. Nearly cost us everything. They were trying to save their friend. Like any of us would do. Please, I would never do anything that reckless. Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth anymore? I would never do anything that reckless, given the stakes. Really? Okay, fine. I would never do anything that reckless today. I give that a solid maybe. FYI, everybody at Stark Industries would be upset with this. Me? Not so much. Pick the fight to Lilith, huh? Next time, take more fights. 
Agatha is lucky to have you. like hell, dear. I suppose you must feel like it, too, after these very rough few days. I can handle hell. I was built for it. You were built for battling hellhounds and dread maidens. Not the battles of the home front. It does not bother me. No, dear. You're just good at hiding how much it does. I am sorry you were unable to save Wanda, but at least you tried. I can't help but feel responsible for how things played out. Perhaps I pushed you too hard to save her too soon, before you, Nico, and Magic were ready. We did not try hard enough, evidently. No, Hunter. There was nothing you could have done. It was my fault for leading you down this path, and I must take responsibility for that. I cannot get Wanda out of my head now, seeing her like that. I know I did not know her before she fell, but she was in so much pain. It permeated from her. I could feel it tear right through me. I just wish I could have freed her from it. I know, dear. Me too. Maybe you'll get a chance to again. In the meantime, don't beat yourself up about it too much. And remember how much Sarah and I love you. Nobody likes feeling stuck on the sidelines, but we have to battle our impulses to win the war. She's, uh, pretty upset. We really screwed up, didn't we? I knew we shouldn't have gone this way. I'm worried about Nico's magic. I think they're in shock or something. We're all in shock. It's gonna take some time for us to put it back together. And if we did, we would be right. Very, very intimidated by caretaker. She pushed Wanda right out of the abbey. Again.
can this be? You have vanquished me once again. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Kicking it with the legendary hunter. And kicking said legendary hunter's ass at a fighting game. This is an outrage. I demand a rematch. Are you sure? I've already beaten you twice. Three out of five. You realize that you'll need to win the next three matches to beat me. Just press that forsaken restart button already. Okay, but I'm not going easy on you, Hunter. You're way too good for that. Oh, I'm good now, huh? Yeah, just not at this game. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Don't you think with all my knowledge, all my expertise, I could have helped save Wanda? No. Why? Because we do not trust you, Strange. Your problem, Magic, is that you don't trust anyone. Why should I? Where were you when Wanda was taken? What have you or any of the other Avengers done to rescue her? I thought we resolved this already. There was nothing any of us could do. No, you resolved it out of your mind. We acted. And had you elicited my help, you might have succeeded. Please, you Avengers would only have gotten in our way. I suppose we'll never know now, will we? And people say Tony's ego's big. Oh, enough of this. I have to attend to some issues in limbo. Someone has to make sure we have safe passage through space-time. Now who is running from a fight, Ileana? Try not to be someone who equates youth with folly. I wish Ileana would not look at someone with a lifetime of experience and assume incompetence. Perhaps there was more I could have done to save Wanda, but until I get back into my sanctum, I cannot see everything I once did. You must stop showing weakness, Doctor. Excuse me, what did you just say? It is not the loss of your prophetic abilities that has lost you trust among your colleagues, but your willingness to let them challenge you. The others, they smell your self-doubt and are treating you accordingly. Enough. I allowed Magic to argue with me because of her relative inexperience. You have no such excuse. Then I will take my leave. Yes, I think that's wise. <laughs> Back from your little field trip. I'm surprised Caretaker hasn't ripped you a new one yet. Going behind her back with the backup singers of your pop-punk band was really risky. Magic and Nico needed my assistance. I could not say no. Hey, I love hijinks. You gotta have real big cojones to go after Wanda like that. I'm talking huge. I will not ask what that means, but thank you? Really? You don't know what... Never mind. Lessons come later. 
Between you and me, I would have done the same thing. Not because I love causing a scene, but in our line of work, we need to bend the rules. Play fast and loose. Not entirely. Rules exist for a reason. Right. To be broken. <laughs> I see there is no convincing you otherwise. A little part of you must feel the same, or else you would have told Magic and Nico to shove off. I believed in their cause. <laughs> oh, there's my hunter, being all rebellious. I'm so proud. If you ever want to break more rules with your little posse, count me in. Oh, you are gonna love this. How's it going, boss? Cross your fingers. How's that for quality workmanship? Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. So, what did you have in mind? Does this meet your specifications? All right, now we're talking. Come back to... I'm here if you need me. Stay out of trouble. Even a sorcerer supreme. Practice makes perfect. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Some of your vigor for the battlefield, Hunter. How's my favorite Hunter? I wanted to apologize for last night. I just couldn't believe what you and the rest of the sons did and needed time alone to process. I knew I underestimated Nico's desperation to save Wanda when I realized she swiped my spellbook. I keep thinking, 
If I hadn't given up on her so easily, if I had listened to them, helped them, I could have prevented them from going out on their own and risking all. Do you think they are right, Hunter? Do you think I gave up on Wanda too soon? Try not to be too hard on yourself about what you did or did not do. But it's my job to make the best decisions for the team with the given information. And this time, I feel like I failed spectacularly. We are all doing our best. It doesn't feel like it right now. It does not have to. Oh, I can't help but be reminded of Lilith. Maybe if I tried to save her centuries ago, we wouldn't be walking the apocalypse we're in now. Well, I ought to pull myself together and face the day. Thanks for the word, Hunter. forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. That's what we're after? Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. No sweat! Coming at you! Someone on is about to move out. You're running out of time. Let's 
settled this. I know that wasn't your signature move. Guess we're not done yet. Just like we planned. The artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? our chances. isn't going to like this. I'm not. Find a new line of work. I'd say that was a very successful outing. Good work.
A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. Is a book club some form of weapon? Do you strike with the spine? You hear that? That's the sound of Agatha rolling in her grave. Book clubs are simple. You read books and talk about them. Sometimes there's punch. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay, then. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting, we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones, that's the plan at least. Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no, there isn't one for today. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet. You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I wanted to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book. It was Hulk's. Oh, no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. Hunt, all right, I made my decision. So, what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for book club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. Can you give me a quick summary? 
It's about war. Come on, Hunter. How old is this book? 5th century BCE. Ancient and still relevant. I cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I make no apologies. I hope you're proud of yourself. Anyway, our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Uh, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. I admit, I like the low-pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. What did you think of the meeting? Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think of Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter. But don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. so late reading the twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus this journal is like a love letter to Alistair Crowley the Necronomicon Jack the Ripper and Charles Manson all remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it see if it helps us find our way back into the sanctum You are exhausted, Carol. Get some rest. You can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know, real horror. Listen to this crap. Lilith, your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms. Choke on the dark tendrils of your hair. Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. These are just the ramblings of a madman. No rhyme or reason to be found. There must be something helpful here. Well, I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. 
I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. <sighs> I'll let you know what I find out. Magic, are you all right? No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel, have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes, but I do not want to say it out loud. It is all right to feel fear, Magic. I am not afraid, Hunter. It's just... Once I say his name, he becomes real again. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? If I am right, you will see soon enough. But tonight, that's all I can say. I just wish I could have brought my brother. Get it's nice of Hyder to provide. Great dub, Hunter. Every little victory gets you a gold star. Deadpool, have you ever considered what a perfect day looks like? What do you think? I thought you'd never ask. Picture this. Me, chimichanga in hand, riding on the back of a dinosaur through the city. We'd make a pit stop at the bar where I'd finally pay off my tab, and then I'd go to a hotel and sleep in a real bed. It is interesting. Hey, get that judgy tone out of here. You asked for mine, that was it. It just sounds very eventful, that is all. And just my style. That was so fun, I could die. <laughs>